This video will demonstrate how using coordinate entry, polar tracking, and distance entry help you to create precise drawings in AutoCAD LT. Let's start with coordinate entry. Coordinates represent locations in your drawing. When a command prompts you for a point, you can use the cursor to specify a point in the drawing area, or you can enter coordinate values. In two-dimensional space, you specify points on a plane that is similar to a flat sheet of grid paper. You can enter two-dimensional coordinates as either Cartesian, with x and y values, or polar, with distance and angle values. Cartesian coordinates are measured from two perpendicular lines, the x-axis and the y-axis. The x value specifies horizontal distance, and the y value specifies vertical distance. For example, the coordinates 2, 4, represent a point that is 2 units along the x-axis and 4 units along the y-axis. The origin, or 0, 0, indicates where the two axes intersect. The UCS icon shows you the location of the origin and the direction of the x and y axes. When you know the location of a point in relation to the previous point, you can use relative coordinates. For example, I'll start the line command and select a point to use as the start point. I can then specify that the end point of this line should be 5 units over and 3 units up from the starting point by typing 5, comma, 3 and pressing enter. If you know the precise x and y values of the location of the point though, you can use absolute coordinates instead. For example, I can define the next point in this line to have an x value of 4 and a y value of 6 by typing pound, 4, comma, 6, and pressing enter. In this case, the pound sign was required to tell AutoCAD LT that I wanted absolute coordinates, not relative. There are two instances where you don't need the pound sign to specify absolute coordinates. The first is when starting a command. I can start a new line and enter negative 2, comma, 1 for the start point, and the line will begin at an x value of negative 2 and a y value of 1. Also, if you are not using dynamic input and are entering coordinates at the command line, you do not need the pound sign to specify absolute coordinates. In that case, however, you do need to use the at symbol to specify relative coordinates. Polar tracking creates temporary alignment paths to make precision drawing easier. It effectively makes certain angles sticky, so that moving the cursor in that general direction snaps to the precise angle. I'll begin the line command and choose a start point. You can see that as I move my cursor around the screen, a dotted line appears when I get close to true horizontal or vertical. This means that I can easily create a line that is precisely horizontal or vertical. By default, polar tracking only works in 90 degree increments. If you right click on its status bar icon, however, you can choose a different interval, say 45 degrees. If you need more angles than are listed there, right click again and choose settings. You can use the additional angles box to specify your own polar tracking angles. You can quickly specify angles and distances using the direct distance entry and angle override features. It's usually best to combine this method with polar tracking so that you can precisely define the length and the angle at the same time. To draw a line precisely five units long, I can start the command, select a start point, and move the mouse in the direction I want to draw. When the polar tracking vector appears, I can type in 5 and press enter to create the line. If you know the length and angle of the line you want to draw, but the angle isn't one of your active polar angles, you can use an angle override instead. With regular coordinate entry, you use a comma to separate the two coordinate values, but with angle overrides, you use the less than symbol instead. So to draw a line 5 units long at an angle of 10 degrees, I would type 5, the less than symbol, 10, and press enter. Now you have seen how to use coordinate entry, polar tracking, 
and Distance Entry. These three tools will help you draw precisely in AutoCAD LT. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.